What's going on guys, Chandler here. So this is gonna be my new segment on my YouTube channel called First Listen Review. That is taken from my $5 tier full album reactions. So I react to the entire album and then at the very end, I give my overall thoughts and initial thoughts and a score on the album as a whole. So again, if you do like what you see and wanna support the channel going forward, head over to patreon.com slash Chandler Burton Entertainment. This is exclusive to the $5 tier. Again, you get a full album reaction review and a whole bunch of other perks as well if you guys are interested and again there's always a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment but with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the review and thank you all so much for watching Wow, that was a really good album, dude. I really enjoyed that. I uh, was looking forward to this one the most, as I said, of all the albums that I've been doing this week. This is the one I was looking forward to the most because I really love the singles and uh, definitely fulfilled the hype for me and for the most part. So we're going to do our first listen review of Varial's Scars, Scars to Remember. Um, if you don't mind sticking around for that. That would be great. Let's jump right into the review. All right, my friends. So again, that was the band Varials and their new full-length album, Scars, for you to remember. Absolutely phenomenal here. There's a lot of there's a lot I want to say about this album. So let's go and jump right into it here. I gotta say, number one, those vocals are top tier. Do not know the new vocalist's name. I people have commented on my videos saying what his name was, but I totally forgot his name, so I do apologize about that. But he is phenomenal. I mean, obviously, you know, Travis had his own kind of unique style to it here. And I like them both about the same. I think they're both different. Uh, but this vocalist is absolutely phenomenal. Again, I can't imagine it would be so hard to, like, take over. You know, once somebody's so used to a, a vocalist in a certain band, like, it's, it's hard to take over that. And I thought this guy did a really good job kind of making it his own. <clears throat> And just making it really as brutal as possible and kind of tying into the next part here is that I really love the instruments on this album as well. I love how they can blend metalcore and hardcore. This album, I definitely, it feels more metalcore-y than it does hardcore. Their older stuff is definitely more of the beat down type hardcore, but they still have those elements of hardcore, you know, in this album on a lot of the songs. But again, I think they do a really good job of blending metalcore and hardcore together. It keeps things from getting kind of stale, like combining really two cool, cool different genres of metal into one. I thought they did it like expertly well, like it just flows really well. It doesn't feel crowbarred in there. So again, I think the, the mixture of metalcore and hardcore are really, really good on this album here. Also, this might be just a really simple one here, but this album hits. It hits hard, dude. Like the breakdowns and like the vocals, like it just, you know, like for example, I always say it like on Obsidian by Northlane, just did not hit as hard as I wanted it to. But albums like this, it just like makes you just go like, whoa, like yeah, dude. Like it's just super exciting to listen to. It is 8.43 in the morning and that, that, that made me just rock my head super hard. It is early where I'm at. So I was like, man, I hope I can give enough energy when I'm doing this review, but that was no problem listening to this album because it just hits and it's awesome and it feels really good it's really really sick and i'd also say the production on this is really well i think that kind of just ties in for the album hitting so hard the production is really punchy and it just makes it just really really big like it just it's so good dude i just can't praise this album enough it's so so good <laughs> So even though I love this album here, there are a couple of cons that I did want to talk about here. I'd say number one, I don't know if it's just my headphones or the way I was listening to it, but it sounded like the singing on this album, not the screaming, the screaming sounded really good. And that was kind of more in the forefront of this album, but the singing kind of felt a little like shoved into the background, except on the song Circles. I just felt it was a little too quiet and the guy has a, a, a pretty decent voice so for me it just sounded a little bit quiet and um, i don't know maybe maybe i'm in the wrong let me know down below um this is going to go on youtube and patreon so let me know down below in the comments if you if you think i'm wrong or whatever but i just wanted to see what you guys thought about that i personally thought they were a little bit too quiet and then I would say my other con is that there are maybe one too many interludes on this album only because like these songs are so good and they hit really hard and I really enjoy them. If the album was bad, then I wouldn't really care about having that many interludes. But since these songs are so good, it's like I wanted just more of the same, I guess you could say. Um, it's not like Novelist where every other song was like an interlude. Um, the interludes were pretty cool on this album, but I just thought there was maybe like one too many kind of to fill the album up 
up a little bit more. But again, I would have liked more songs because again, they were just really, really good. So my top three favorite songs from this album here, I'm gonna say number one, it's still gonna be The Cycle of Violence. I love that song, that riff. It's got a perfect blend of, as I said, metalcore and hardcore in that song with the riff and then the ending breakdown. It's perfect, man. Absolutely wonderful song. Wonderful, wonderful song. Next one I'd say is Ritual Division. I love that song. Super heavy, super like just in your face engaging. I absolutely thought that song was a heater. I was actually gonna put that one on YouTube um, as the, uh, the clip, but after I heard Day 3 Revenge with Matt Honeycutt, I was like, okay, that's a song I'm gonna be uploading. That song was intense. It was so, so good, man. I love Matt Honeycutt's vocals. Anything he's on, it just sounds phenomenal. So that's probably my favorite song on the album. Those are my top three songs from this album. And uh, again, I plan to listen to this album a lot more in the future. It's that good. Like, it's so, so good, dude. I just, I love this album, man. I can't praise it enough. <laughs> I really, really like this album, man. As you probably saw, I've been saying that throughout the entire review and I did it throughout the entire reaction. I think this album is great. I just, I feel kind of bad for them because again, Lauren Ashore put out their album, Pain Remains, and that is like the most anticipated album, at least in the metal scene in quite a while. So I feel like this band is going to be slipped under the rug. I personally think this album is way better than Pain Remains. I know it's kind of different genres and those types of things, but this album was so cool. So again, if you like what you see or like this review, make sure you go check varials out because they're they've been around for a while and they're really 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 sick um other than the fact that there's maybe too many interludes and sometimes maybe i think the vocals were a little bit quiet on the singing aspect here everything about this album worked it's heavy it's melodic it's got that hardcore feel that they still have from the older stuff definitely more metal quarry i would say for this album but i truly do believe that this is their best album it's got great features on it and i think this album absolutely works if you're a fan of metalcore and hardcore this is going to be an absolute home run for you here i'm giving this album varial scars for you to remember a 9 out of 10 absolutely ferocious album and i think this may this album may end up in my top 10 albums of 2022 i think it is going to be slept on so again if you like this review or other reactions out there make sure you go support these guys they absolutely deserve it <laughs>